guys! Today's video is a September favourites video. There's a few bits and pieces that I have loved using this month and there's others that I couldn't have lived without. So I'm just going to delve straight in and I'm going to start with the most expensive one. And this is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Now you've probably heard of Charlotte Tilbury, she's a very famous makeup artist and this month she launched her own range of makeup and some skincare bits and pieces. And she's really famous for this cream because she uses it on all her A-list celebrity clients and they love it. Um, so I'm just going to show you how this opens because it is the most beautiful packaging. It comes in this box like this and you pull off the base to reveal the inner box uh, which opens with this flap here and you open it up to reveal the most beautiful jar of cream, a pot, a proper pot of cream, I would call it. It's beautifully retro and glam. It's really got that kind of Hollywood vintage feel to it. And I think it would look amazing on any dressing table. And I love the rose gold top. I'm just a sucker for rose gold. The cream itself is very, very thick and emollient and luxurious. Nothing is coming out of this baby. It is super, super thick packed full of oils that are so nourishing for the skin. There's rose oil, um, there is camellia oil, there's sunflower oil, there's actually even uh, Damascus rose oil which I love, which gives it the most beautiful smell. I love the smell of this. It reminds me of one of my mother's creams that she used to use when I was a little girl. It's really, really thick and luxurious. It looks really white and opaque but actually it goes on beautifully onto the skin and it leaves a really soft, dewy finish. So if you want a matte look to your makeup, you would have to use a matte primer over this. But I've used this cream and then gone straight in with um, my Bare Minerals Loose Foundation, and it gives a really beautiful, dewy look. You don't get that powdery look that you sometimes get. So I love this cream, it's a real favorite of mine. September has been the month of the neutral smoky eye for me. So to get that look, one of the bits that I've been using is this rock and coal eye pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's a beautiful dark espresso brown color and it goes on really smoothly right into the lashes. It's actually what I'm wearing now. All I've got on my eyes today is this eye pencil and a mascara that I'm going to talk about in a second, and that is it, only two bits on my eye. It's a really intense deep brown colour, perfect for darker skins like mine that need that intensity, it's a real espresso colour. And to really smoke it up a bit, I have been using this Rimmel Scandalize in Bad Girl Bronze. It's not new, but um, I just thought I'd tell you about this one. It is a gorgeous colour for brown skins, it's got the right amount of bronze in it, it's got the right amount of red in it and the right amount of glisten and you can smoke it up with a smudger or even with your finger like this and I use it above the upper lash and I use it below the lower lash line as well and then I smoke it out. I'm not wearing it right now but it is a really good one especially if you just want to go from a daytime to nighttime look and you just want to smoke up that eye. The other little gem that I want to show you from the Charlotte Tilbury collection is another one of her iconic products. And this is a black liquid eyeliner, which is called the Feline Flick, which I think sums it up so beautifully. It's perfect for creating those real big Sophia Loren eyes. It is only available in black at the moment and it creates the most beautiful doe-eyed flick above the eye. I use it on the outside of the eye and then I go from the inside out and join up the line. It comes to a beautiful sharp defined point although the brush itself is soft against the skin and it really allows you to get right down inside between the lashes and to get that beautiful delicate little flick if that's what you're going for and because it's such a great carbon black colour you can go a bit heavier and thicker and really kind of amp up those eyes for that kind of Dolce Gabbana look. The next favourite is another eye product. I know, I'm sorry, I've been all about the eyes this month. This is my favourite mascara of the moment and it is called DJV Butanizer. And I absolutely adore this for getting that full on va va voom, full lash look with just sometimes just one coat actually. I'm wearing one coat of that today along with that brown um, eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury and that's all I've got on my eyes. 
And this is, again, it's a beautiful deep black. Um, and I don't know what else to say. It's just the perfect mascara. You can only buy it, though, from cultbeauty.co.uk, which is an online, but it's really worth giving it a go. It's not really expensive. I think it's about £14, £15. So it's not like a Lancome or something where you're spending £23 for a mascara and then you find out you don't like it. I really think it's worth you trying this one out. I love this one. And lastly, for my face, I've been loving this deep red blusher from MAC. It's called Frankly Scarlet, and frankly, it looks really scary in the pot. You wouldn't think you could put this on your face and go out without looking like something from the circus. But actually applied really lightly on the cheeks, it's just the perfect shade, especially for tanned or brown Indian skins. Um, I'm wearing it today and hopefully my face doesn't look too scary. I've literally just applied it to the apples of my cheeks there and there with my Daniel Sandler watercolour brush and almost just kind of feathered it on. It's hardly, it hardly needs any. So this I think is going to last me for years and years and years, way longer than I ought to keep it. My hair is a little bit of the bane of my life at the moment. It's very dry at the bottom ever since I had the ombre done and so I'm constantly looking for things to keep it hydrated and moisturised. I have been loving this month this from Mark Hill. It's called the Miracle Oilicious and it's the Moroccan Argan Oil with Ylang Ylang and Palm Rosa and it smells beautiful. It smells like sweets and you just pump a tiny little bit into your ha palm of your hand rub the palms of your hands together and just apply it. I apply it just to the ends of my hair where it's really dry and it just needs a little bit of hydration. I think I've been using this almost every day. This is nearly finished now. And it's just perfect for adding back a little bit of moisture when I'm not actually washing my hair and reconditioning or, or a mask. So it's, it's great to kind of keep going on the hydration front when in between masks, um, which I do weekly, and I have to do weekly because of the dryness down here. I'm loath to get rid of my ombre effect because I love it, but it does take its toll on the health of your hair. So just bear that in mind if you're thinking about going down the ombre route. But anyway, so this Mark Hill oil, Miracle Oilicious, is perfect and it's handbag friendly. So I've quite often found carrying this around in my handbag and applying during the day just to keep my hair going. Another hair must-have, it's not just this month's favourite, it's been a favourite for the last four or five months, but seeing as this is my first ever favourites video, I just had to show it to you, is Viviscal. And I don't know if you've heard about this, it is a daily supplement that you take just to kind of promote the health of your hair. And I have found such a difference in my hair in terms of fallout and in terms of regrowth of hair. I've always worried about the hair on top of my head. And this has made a real difference. It takes about three to four months to see any change because it takes time for the hair cycle to show through. I take one of these in the morning and then I take one at night. I don't think you have to take it with food. I don't necessarily, um, but I do take it twice a day. They say you start off with two a day and then afterwards for maintenance you can take one a day but I'm so paranoid about my hair that I do take two a day and I wouldn't be without it now it's absolutely brilliant it contains all the things that I know that I need for my hair it's got um, biotin, iron, zinc, um, horsetail extract it does contain a marine protein complex so it's obviously not suitable for vegetarians but if you're not a vegetarian, I really recommend them. I think that they are brilliant. They made a real difference to my hair. September's been the month of me trying to get back into fitness and get back into shape. So I decided to get me one of these little things and it's called a Fitbit Flex. It's a band that you wear around your wrist. I got it in blue, but I think you can get it in a couple of other colors. And you wear it around your wrist. It goes on really easily. You just kind of clip it on and it monitors your activity levels and then you sync it up with your phone or you can sync it up on your PC or your laptop or whatever and you kind of you have to input kind of how many calories you've done and stuff like that but it does monitor kind of how active you've been and you can set daily goals like how many steps you take or how many minutes of activity you want to get through in a day and it's just something that reminds you at the end of the day that you haven't done your 10,000 steps so you know there are evenings where I'm found walking around the house just to kind of get into my 10,000 steps and beyond 
Um, I'll let you know how it goes. It was uh, about £70, so it wasn't cheap. I'm not sure that it was the best investment yet, but um, I'll let you know how that one goes. And the last one that I want to talk about is one that I've written about on the blog, so I'll link that down below for you, is this Nivea In Shower Body Moisturiser. And it's cheap as chips, I think it's like 5 99 and right now while I'm recording this I think you can get it in boots for £3. And you apply it on your skin the way you use a conditioner in, for your hair in the shower. So you kind of, you wash, you rinse off and then you apply this on your wet skin and then you rinse it off and you come out of the shower, dry off and your skin is fully moisturised. You don't have to then get the moisturiser on your body and then wait for ages until it dries or be like kind of struggling and fighting with your jeans to pull them on over kind of sticky moisturised legs. I absolutely love this. I am on my second bottle of this now and um, although it takes a couple of extra minutes in the shower, it does save time in the morning when I'm trying to head out. So this is another favourite of mine. It's a good old cheapy buy and I love it. So that was my September favourites. Let me know if you already have tried any of the bits that I've shown you today or if there's any recommendations that you think I should be trying out. Today is now officially the end of my September spending ban which has been interesting. I bought no shoes, clothes, jewellery, makeup or bags this month and it's it's been kind of liberating but I know that I will be amping up my skincare routine next month so there will be a few purchases. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to keep up to date with my videos. Do give me a thumbs up for this one if you liked it and leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Until next time, bye!